Okay, because of the way matrices are multiplied, I can write this system more compactly. This times this, and this times this can be done in one fell swoop. <laughs> okay? One swell swoop. Uh, anyhow, here's the matrix, and I just multiply by this column, and then I multiply by this column. Okay? And that has to equal the matrix that consists of this here and this here. Okay? We see where everything is, right? Now, matrix multiplication might be new to you. I wish it wasn't, but it is. So you got to practice it some, right? you got to get used to it. It takes a little while, so I hope you're working on it. Okay? Now, instead of A, B, C, D, well, okay, I, I, I can still write this, okay? So I won't, I won't abbreviate it. So, um, of course, we could replace this by numbers, right? But I'm going to just keep these things in here so we remember where they came from. In other words, if I multiply on the right, which is different than multiplying on the left, Matrix multiplication is not commutative. If you multiply by matrix on the right, it doesn't give you the same thing as if you multiply on the left. Sometimes it does, but almost never, except in special circumstances, okay? So what I have to do is I multiply this equation on the right by the inverse of this matrix. I can't multiply in the middle for the same reason, okay? I've got to multiply it on the right, because I've got nothing over here to be in the middle, right? So multiplying in the middle doesn't help. With numbers, it would be okay. But with matrices, you don't have commutativity, and you can't do this. So I have to multiply this by the inverse of this matrix, but on the right. Well, now I can do it. And now I can figure out what this matrix is, right? And that'll be my transformation. 